Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doki Metal video. In this video, we're going to continue uh, taking a look at kind of the powerful combinations of units in Doki Metal. Uh, I started this series taking a look at Chi Lai uh, and Broly Chi Lai and Lemo, the LR, and how interesting a combination they make. Uh, and I wanted to continue it with taking a look at the physical Super Saiyan Rose and the Int transforming Goku Black. Now, in Transforming Goku Black, got a ZZA, got a lot of hate. Um, I think a lot of people are going to like him a lot more when the Blue Zone comes out uh, on the global side. He definitely does a great job. Um, lots of reasons why, but he lowers attack on a super attack and greatly raises defense. Both of these things are pretty helpful uh, and are really, really good. So those two mechanisms work really, really well um, in terms of the Blue Zone or the upcoming Super Hard events. And physical Goku Black really, really helps facilitate him. And the reason why is simple. Uh, physical Goku Black requires no buildup, whereas in transforming Goku Black requires buildup. And generally speaking, having one unit that can kind of um, essentially holster for the other unit whilst essentially allowing them to build up is really, really good. Uh, of course, they share great links together. Uh, once transformed, they share tons of links, Super Saiyan, uh, Big Bad Bosses, Dismal Future, uh, you know, Prepared for Battle, they share Nightmare, they share Fierce Battle. So they share pretty much everything. I think the only thing they don't share is Fear and Faith uh, and Kamehameha uh, on either side. So they share great links, Big Bad Bosses, Super Duper Critical, uh, and they do a great job, realistically speaking. Um, Ins Goku Black gains a ton of defense very quickly. Uh, so once you can get through those initial turns, he does a great job. And even in some events like some master in that right now where we have these strong AoEs, Goku Black is actually more than fine. Um, you do have to consider using a Whis, you know, if he's going to take a lot of chip damage early on. But if you don't have a lot of attacks aimed at him beyond the AoE, uh, he'll be fine in the first start. Of course, super attacks are always a problem for the in-transforming Goku Black. That's just one of those things. But he's still a great foil to the physical Goku Black. Uh, physical Goku Black, you know, he doesn't need much. He needs Rainbow Orbs. In Goku Black, he doesn't have anything in the way that gets in the way of physical Goku Black. And also, he gives him attack and extra key. Not that he needs the key, but he gives him extra attack, which is great. You know, physical Goku Black, you have his cloning mechanism as well, which is fantastic. And that domain rift benefits the Int Goku Black. Their link synergize great. And once Int Goku Black transforms, then you're pretty much set. Because Int Goku Black, once he can transform, you know, essentially, to cut a long story short, he's a really powerful offensive unit. Uh, he's got a ton that makes him really good. Uh, he's got that additional attack of 10% with each attack performed. He's got that high crit chance that basically has a 50% chance to crit built in. And he has additional super attacks built in as well. So he's really, really solid. Um, the two of them are going to be a great pairing with the upcoming uh, hard difficulty fights against super class units. Uh, and of that, you know, I have no doubt. They're just a fantastic combination. And even now on Global, they are a fantastic combination. Uh, they really are a super strong combo. They run super well together. Very neat as well. Very easy to utilize. There's not a lot you have to do. There's no prep. There's no anything. Uh, and I think Physical Goku Black is a big part of that. His release and having a unit that is, you know, quite tanky, uh, very tanky in that first slot, and also just has the ability to really pop off alongside the Into Goku Black, I think is immense. Not to mention it's an alternative 200% lead for Goku Black. And I think, yeah, the two of them together just make a super fun combination. Um, you know, You've got them, you can have a floating Texamasu like you can see here. Uh, and realistically, it's just a great combo. Of course, super attacks are going to be an issue for Int Goku Black. Um, that's not really something you can change, uh, especially if he doesn't get the time. The newer events on the JP side that will come to Global with the Annie, they're a bit longer. They suit Goku Black a bit more. You can debuff the opposition as well. Um, so that's really, really important and does really really add into his benefit 
But right now, yes, um, of course, him taking a super attack from physical Zamasu, not really possible. And you're going to see that here. But he can tank normals from him. Uh, he can definitely tank normals from him more than fine. Uh, and alongside physical Goku Black, just makes a super fun combo. Physical Goku Black, especially in the cloning state, pretty much survive anything. Um, he's really nuts that way. And together they make a good combo. Uh, it's also the additional attack bonus from the end Goku Black that really elevates the physical one. Uh, making his attack stats start a bit higher, making his cumulative attack stats really pop off. And yeah, I just think they're really, really fun really insanely enjoyable combination of units and I really like them and I think you should try them out. Um, I've shown you a couple clips from a couple super hard events but really they are a super fun combo. Like they are really really fun to run together and honestly speaking outside of it, I think Zamasu um, and even then you don't have to if there's not a lot of the targeted attacks you don't have to use items. Uh, they just really are that good. A ton of fun to use. Plus double Goku Black, Super Saiyan Rose. So. The style is there. Bye.